Hello, scientists! Welcome back to the Draw Coronavirus series. So, in this part, we, I will be showing you how to draw the membrane protein. First, let's take a quick look at the membrane protein. So, in Nature Review, they essentially use the same structure as the double helix DNA. There's an old tutorial of how to draw the double helix, but uh, recently I found another simpler approach into drawing this structure, and I'm very excited to show you of this easier uh, technique. So first let's create a grid, and this grid will be serve as the reference point for our distortion later. The grid will be 4 times 4 square. Once it's done, let's lock it so it will not interfere with our drawing on top of it. Okay, then let's grab the pen tool. Uh, I'll use the red color so we can see it. Um, and we will be drawing a parallelogram. And the four corners should be on these four reference points on the grid. This will be the base of our helix unit and um, the next step is that we need to create the groove. Um, so let's go grab the direct selection tool and then select the anchor point. And let's click on this to smoothen the path and you will see the handles popping out from your anchor point. Then we need to do some adjustment by bending the handles. So let's hold Alt or Option on Mac and then grab this handle and move it all the way down to fit one side of our grid. Okay, once that's ready, we will grab the other side of the handle and then move the handle all the way to this intersection which is one grid away from our anchor point. Okay, that's one anchor point done, and we will need to repeat that on the three other anchor points. So the basic rule is the short handle, the short handle is on the side, and then the longer handle needs to be one grid away from the anchor point. Once you have adjusted all the corners, you will have a unit for the double helix. Let's give it gray outline and a blue color. So then we need to create the outer part of the helix and it can be very simply done by making a reflection of the inner unit. Let's come over here to grab our Reflect tool. Double click on it and then select Vertical Reflection. That looks good and let's make it into a lighter color. And then fit it onto our inner part. So you can see uh, the nice thing about having the grid is then you can have an exact measurement of where you should put these two parts aligned. Okay, and then let's scale it down and adjust the outline to a thinner outline. It looks good. We're almost done. Well, oh, and I need to adjust the direction of the spinning of the helix. So first of all, let's take a quick look at uh, the membrane protein. Um, I'll turn the protein to 90 degrees so you can see it more clearly how they built the structure up. So it is essentially three rows of the single helix plus two rounded caps on the middle ribbon. So um, yeah, once we have that understood, and it's very easy for us to uh, build that structure. So here I will make three rows 
of our single helix. Then it's time to create the caps. I'll add an extra inner part over here. So how I create this cap is I will take one unit out. Duplicated and then vertical reflected. Put these two on top. So it has a rounded intersection and then go to Pathfinder and then click on Divide. Now remove these two parts, that's uh, not uh, what we want and then uh, unify the entire shape. Then once we smoothen these two pointed points, we will have the cast that we need. And I'll put it right on top where, where it should be. One more. With a vertical reflection. Oh, uh, I have one inner part missing, so uh, I will put that on. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, I will spin it to uh, the right direction. So this is how you draw the membrane protein. And now we have all the parts to assemble a coronavirus. So now we have all the parts that we need to create a coronavirus. And in a final video, I will show you how to assemble all these parts together within two minutes. Make sure you subscribe to Draw Biomed so you don't miss the series finale. I'll see you there.